All right, guys, next lesson in this little series here on C Sharp and lists within Unity. Um, I want to do in this video here, I want to talk about if we can check to see if a list contains a certain value. So maybe we have some information coming back from a server, or maybe we have something calculated at runtime, where we don't exactly know if something is within the list or not here. So what I want to do, um, there's actually a couple different ways to go about this here. The easiest way I found is to use an index of method. And the index of is going to return a, a value if it's within the list. If it's not within the list here, it's going to return negative one. If it is within the list here, it's going to say the position of that item in the list here. So that's kind of like a lot of words. So like, what does that really mean here? Well, let me show you. So I'm going to say int, and it's going to be called test, and it's going to be equal to int. So the first list here, dot index of, and let's pick a number that's not within the list here. Let's say it's something like 53. And we're going to debug that log this. And we're going to say, oops, test from there. And since we shouldn't expect to see this number within the list here, we should expect to see negative 1 being printed to the console here, right? And of course, this is from before. This is from the test run that I did before the video. And boom, we get negative one there, right? Now the same thing goes, well, I guess you could say this is a little bit of a tangent here. If I actually did give it a number that was within the list here, if I said something like, I don't know, 117, and we'll comment out these sorts here, this we're not getting confused. And we go back here. We can see that we get position one now because 117 is, L, uh, excuse me, zero element one here. That's where that one is there. So it's kind of like a two birds with one stone type deal. You can kind of get multi uses out of this one command from here. Now we could do the same thing with strings too. I'm going to go ahead and replace this. Now notice this is still an int because we're still talking about index of something here. And let's find, I don't know, um, trying to think of a word, unity. How about that? Save. Back to our game here. And we see that we get negative one because this item is not within the list here, right? And we'll do one more here just so I can prove it to you. We'll say that string of characters right there. Go back. And then we should expect to see two being printed to the console. Boom, just like that there. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to make a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And be sure to uh, stay ready for, stay tuned for some new videos here. Again, this is how to find an element, so this is, excuse me, this is how to check if a list contains an element using the index of method here. All right? Have a great day, guys.